What's up guys? Classy Metal here. I've got quite a few things to show you um, in this update. There's uh, two CD orders and uh, something that I picked up uh, yesterday. Um, I've got a ton of stuff. As you can see, my shelves behind me are an absolute mess. I ha I've got a new shelf in that I ordered that I just haven't put together yet. Uh, I ordered that before the, uh, the whole car situation happened. And uh, so I guess that was a good thing because I ran out of space on my shelves and um, I'm needing to expand a little bit. So there's going to be some stuff that probably does not make it into these update videos uh, just because after I get that shelf put together, I'm going to be sorting all my CDs uh, and, and filing them onto the shelf with the rest of the collection. So uh, there's a few that probably won't make it into updates. I apologize for that, but I will leave a link in the description to my Discogs. Uh, in case some of you just want to go kind of stalk my collection a little bit and uh, kind of see what I'm working with here. Um, like I said, I have two orders. I will show those first. Uh, the first one I bought uh, from, I believe it's pronounced uh, Madovia. As you know, I've done a video. I did a grab bag video uh, from this uh, distro earlier, uh, maybe a month uh, or so ago. And I got to say, man, you guys are absolutely awesome. The whole point I do these type of videos is uh, to kind of gain awareness to either these online distros or shops or some of these bands that I mentioned. And the whole point of this is uh, to try to convince you guys to go, pick, you know, find something that you like and support these guys. And after I did that uh, grab bag video, the uh, the response was amazing. You guys, uh, I don't think they're available anymore. You kind of purchased that distro out of grab bag. So you guys are awesome for that. I went on there when I made that purchase of the uh, that grab bag. I saw some other things that I wanted, and uh, I just didn't have the money at the time to to purchase those. So uh, I just had them sitting in my cart, and I finally uh, pulled the trigger and picked those up. So I'll show you what I ordered. I will leave a link in the description to the Madovia or Madovia or however you pronounce it uh, shop distro in the comments. I mean, not in the comments, in the description as well. So if uh, you see something here you want. Or you can go pick it out or uh, he's got all types of uh, if you're into black metal post black metal black gaze that type stuff definitely go check him out you'll find uh, tons of CDs and vinyl and uh, if you're in the US it's a uh, pretty pretty low priced and you won't have to pay the overseas shipping and uh, it, it's very competitive so definitely uh, go check his shop out uh, first up I know that there's a bit of a glare on that, so it's going to be hard to make out that artwork. This is the uh, Eldemar um, Dreams of Nature split. It's only two tracks, but I have listened to this split probably 20 times already. It is phenomenal. I love anything that Eldemar, Eldemar is a part of. I enjoy their uh, song on this split just a bit more than the Dreams of Nature, but the Dreams of Nature... Uh, track on this is, is amazing as well. Like I said, I just love Eldemar, and uh, I have spun this so many times. It, it never gets old, and uh, it's like ten bucks. I know that might be a lot for uh, you think for two two tracks, but you get the the amazing artwork on the disc, the physical copy, and I, I spent more than that on a Arby's Meat Mountain last week. So uh, next up, I got a Al. I, 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 it's a French, well, it's a Canadian band, I believe. Uh, it's all in French. They could be French. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm sorry. I didn't do my homework on this. Uh, this is a Alcest or Alcet, depending on uh, how you pronounce that, with uh, Le Voyage de l'Homme. Probably my favorite uh, release from this band. And uh, I ordered two other Alcest or Alcet releases as well, as you will see. I said, this one is probably my favorite release from the band. Uh, next up, we have uh, Souvenirs Done Entremont. Yeah, they're all in French. So uh, I took French in high school, but obviously that was, uh, as you can tell, that was, I'm not even going to tell you how many years ago, almost two decades ago. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of escaped my mind a bit. I'm not uh, as fluent. <laughs> As I should be, probably. Uh, next up, we have uh, Alcest with uh, Escal de Lune. Yeah. How do you like that uh, Southern American 
draw trying to speak French. I'm sure that's a uh, very entertaining. But I got all three of these and the Eldemar split. It was like 40 bucks all together. And he threw in this uh, Alder Glade Exordium for free. He just threw this in the order. I thought this was a, like a mini disc or something when I received it. It's like a, I have no idea. It's uh, Alder Glade with Demo 1 and Demo 2. It has two sides. Apparently. And so I was like, well, maybe it's not a disc. And you open it up comes in this neat little tin to begin with and you open it up and it uh, has all kind of nature in this you see first off it, it is a cassette just a black cassette with the uh, printed on each side demo one and demo two as you can see it had a bit of glue on the tape that was holding these uh, little pine branches in place that were in this I thought that was really neat presentation it also came with this little vial I don't know how well you can make that out, but this this uh, little vial of ash came in this as well. I was uh, a bit creeped out. I was, I was like, "What what kind of ash is this?" And I looked it up, and uh, apparently it's a uh, alder uh, alder tree or alder branch uh, ash. And then it comes with this little booklet as well. I have yet to uh, put this in the tape player and check it out, but it has the uh, the little lyric things for uh, each of the songs so not i'm assuming this is some, either black metal along those lines uh maybe atmospheric i don't want to pigeonhole it into anything yet because i haven't listened to it but there we go alder glade so that was a definite nice little freebie that uh he threw into that for me uh the next up i saw a video i guess it's been a couple of weeks ago now where uh, marty worm uh, was uh, hyping the new bind rune website and uh, I still have to buy a car so I mean keep that in mind I'm showing you this stuff I should not be spending this money and uh, I went to the website you know he said go at least just go check it out and he kind of wrote me in that way I checked it out and ended up spending 60 bucks and uh I was like man, I had like I was like I'm sorry to my wife and uh <laughs> yeah spent 60 bucks so uh first up this has to go in the laundry because I wore this yesterday but I purchased a, uh, a t-shirt from the uh, side project from the members of Nachachwan. And this is uh, Forest of the Soul is the name. I don't know how well. It's just that uh, that art on the front there. Then on the back it says, uh, Befall the days of majesty, a subtle shadow laced in black. This is the final tragedy and there ain't no turning back. Which is lyrics from one of the songs on their uh ep and has the bind run recordings logo there on the sleeve i thought that was pretty neat so i pulled the trigger on that i really enjoyed the chach one and the uh i had i hadn't heard the forest of the soul or forest for the soul uh before making this order and uh, i i saw the forest of the soul i saw the uh the cd on there available and uh i went and checked it out and listened to it and i was like man I, i'm really digging this it reminds me kind of the uh atmospheric and the folky passages of the church one and it's, it's a whole cd of that and uh, i was like yeah I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get that and i liked it so much that i also purchased the t-shirt he has uh, quite a good sale going right now he's got quite a few albums on sale there's some that's as low as three dollars so uh, definitely, if you haven't checked out the new Bind Rune website, go do that. I will link that in the description as well. I uh, picked up, as I was just saying, the Forest of the Soul. I guess it's a, a full length. I said EP earlier, but it's uh, 14 tracks. Uh, it's entitled Restless in Flight. I haven't taken this out of the plastic yet because I've had so much stuff come in here within the past week. I'm still working on uh, listening my way through that uh relapse records grab bag as well um i want to tell you what uh what uh, what track those lyrics were from and uh and it's it is completely escaping my mind right now that was the uh the track that i listened to on youtube before making this purchase and now that now that i'm on the spot i i can't think i uh, picked up the this release from bind rune this is a wilt with a moving monoliths I, so I remember uh, checking this out 
believe it was last year and I really enjoyed it, but I didn't uh, pull the trigger and buy it. I, this was actually my very first uh, ever purchase from Bind Rune, and I feel kind of kind of bad about that, uh, not having supported it later. But I, I saw quite a bit of other stuff while I was making this purchase, so I know once uh, the financial situation improves, there will be some uh, some more Bind Rune showing up in my updates. But this is, uh, like I said, Moving Monolith from Wilt. Fantastic release. Definitely check this out if you have not. Uh, these next few were in the sale bin. Uh, I, I guess you pronounce this band Chaos Oblivion. It's X A O S, but I'm assuming it's a uh, pronounce. It's either Zaos or Chaos Oblivion with Black Mountain Spirits. This is uh, five tracks. This is on uh, Nikta Records. It came out in 2014. After I get this shelf put together and I do uh, some rearranging, I want to try my best to do something about this glare that's always in front of me. Because there's always a white glare right there. And I believe it's from the, a door on a closet that's uh, that way. And I'm going to do my best uh, to rectify that after I get uh, this rearranged in this room. Uh, next up, we have some atmospheric black metal. This is a... I, I don't want to... It's a Nigrescent with a Palace of the Dark Light. Palace of the Dark Light. Sorry. Getting a little tongue-tied. As you can see, most of these are still in the plastic, as I was saying. I just haven't had the chance to, uh, to get them out and get them ripped to the computer and played in the stereo yet. So uh, Next up, we have uh, Strodek with Fourfall said these were all in the sale bin and i was pretty pleased with some of the stuff that uh, i found in there i saw like i said i saw some some other stuff that uh i definitely intend on uh picking up in the very near future i have two more on this uh next up we have another bind run release this is uh some funeral doom this is a celestial with uh where the life springs eternal i was going to pick up a shirt from this uh doom project but they didn't have any of my size so i was kind of bummed about that it kind of sucks being a fat so sometimes all of uh especially when you're a metalhead uh, it seems like uh, all the big people sizes in metalhead uh, attire sells out uh quickly so but that's uh, another amazing uh, release off of the Bind Rune label, Celestial, with uh, Where Life Springs Eternal. And I, I also ordered a Thrall uh, CD black from the black metal band Thrall. Uh, I own one of their releases, and I was going to pick the other one up. And uh, he was out of stock on that. And he messaged me pretty quick and told me. So uh, I just told him to throw this one in instead because it is one I need from uh, Strozek with uh, Sound Graveyard Bound. This is kind of a neo-folky acoustic type stuff. I'm assuming the rest of his uh, releases are... I say acoustic, but it's not really all acoustic. It's kind of his solo stuff. But uh, I haven't listened to this release at all. I enjoy... His, uh, some of his other material, so I'm definitely looking forward to giving that a listen to here in the very near future. So uh, that's all from Bind Rune. Uh, the next stuff, the next four things that I'm going to show aren't uh, CDs or anything. They are uh, album, I guess, prints. They're artworks. I went to uh, my hole in the wall town for some reason. Decided to throw a, uh, a comic con and a, a comic and pop culture con is uh, what they called it yesterday. And uh, I, I'm not really big into that whole comic book culture type thing. And uh, I saw the ad for this uh, comic con, and there was an artist by the name of Brad Moore. I don't know if any of you are familiar with him. He's a freelance artist. He's done uh, quite a bit of uh, album covers for um, a majority death metal van death, death metal bands. Uh, a lot of stuff in the late '90s, early '90s. And that was really in uh, my death metal heyday, like when I was really starting to get into death metal, everything was new and exciting for me. So there was some uh, some stuff of that he's done albums for, album covers for, that, uh, that I could vividly remember those albums. And I was like, well, I'm going to go just to meet this guy and uh, see what he has and hopefully... Uh, pick up some of his prints and he and he he was a really nice guy i'm gonna leave a link 
I'm going to show the prints. The, the, hopefully the camera will do them some kind of justice. I will leave a link to his website and uh, his email for uh, some of you out there that uh, if you're in a band and maybe you need some artwork done or anything. So uh, like I said, he's a freelance artist. And uh, if nothing else, you can go to his website and check out some of his work. Uh, the main one that the main print that I wanted that I hoped he had when I went uh, was from a band. This was uh, released in 2000, and uh, the band is called Divine Empire. So it was a death metal band, early 2000s, late uh, 1990s death metal band, and uh, the album was Doomed to Inherit. And I absolutely I remember that uh, that artwork so vividly in my head, and I, it, it was fantastic. And uh, I went, and lo and behold, he had it in his uh, in his uh, booklet of prints that he was selling, and I, I absolutely had to jump on buying it. He was nice enough to sign it for me down there on the bottom, as you see. So that was an awesome thing. I can't wait to get that framed and uh, hung up on the wall in here. And I kind of was, was looking through his books, and uh, I saw some other stuff that intrigued me as well. So I went ahead and picked up some others. Uh, this is one that actually came out fairly recently, the album that was used on this. This came out in uh, 2015. Uh, this was from the used by the band Crotch Ripper uh, on their uh, Stalactite Cunt Shrine album, and uh, I don't know how well the camera's gonna show that, but uh, that's uh, freaking phenomenal. There's so much going on on that, and uh, he said that uh, his girlfriend posed in one of these prints. I can't remember. It's slipping my mind, which now it might be this release but he said he had his girlfriend pose in one of these prints that i'm going to show so it might have been that one in the bottom corner but uh don't hold me to that because i could be wrong uh next up is one that i'm going to show that i i would kill to have this album it's been uh re-released on vinyl and uh the cheapest i've seen that's been like 40 bucks but the cd is outrageous i, I think it was like one on ebay it's either eBay or Discogs right now, and it's a uh, hundred, hundred and forty dollars for the CD, and I just, I can't spend it. I would love to have this album. I love the artwork on this album, so I guess for now the, uh, the artwork print is gonna have to, uh, have to suffice for me. And this is uh, from Morpheus Descends with their 1992 release, Ritual of Infinity. There we go. And uh, he was nice enough to, he drew a little thing on the bottom there. With his name and then uh he signed it over here and put the date i don't know he signed that one in red so there we go and dated that one so i like i said i need to get some frames for these uh very soon i, I don't know where i'm gonna hang them in here but they're definitely uh reserved this next one's a little bit bigger it's kind of a laminate and uh this was from a uh, organic infest another death metal band this was from a release that came out in 1993 and uh, this one is a bit hard to find as well. This is uh, from the artwork from Pentonance. And I'm going to have to scoot back a little bit so you can take that all in. There we go. And uh, I don't know how well you can make it out. Oh, I don't think you'll be able to make it out at all. But uh, he signed it. There we go. I don't know. Yeah, you can't make that out. But he signed that one and dated it for me as well. So it was really cool to meet him, and uh, he told me about some other bands that I, I definitely am going to go check out that he's done some uh, some artwork for. Most notably, I believe, uh, is a band called Argus that he was telling me about. I, I'm, I'm really intrigued by that, and uh, the artwork that he had for that band that he had done looked pretty phenomenal. He had uh, some t-shirt artworks and stuff. So uh, definitely go check out his website, look at some of the stuff he's done. He's, he's an awesome guy, and I, I, I felt honored. Uh, to meet him yesterday. Uh, that's all I've got for this update. I have some other stuff that I need to show you, but this one's gone on for 20 minutes. Hopefully by the time I do the next video, the shelf will be put together and I'll, the chaos behind me will be taken care of. Uh, we had to take my dad to the emergency room yesterday. He's still in the hospital, so that could put a damper on, uh, on some uh, videos as well. I don't know how long he's going to be back in. Hopefully it's just uh, maybe a, a day or two thing where we can get him back in health and get him back home. But uh, until next time, guys, stay classy, stay metal, and I, I promise I'll see you very soon.